What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. If you're keto, I'm John. And if you are new to this channel, please hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, click the bell so that you can get future notifications on my videos and you're going to love it. So um, for those of you that are subscribed, thank you so much, guys. I do appreciate you and I hope you guys had fun with us yesterday. It was a whole lot of fun um, at my sister's birthday dinner and today we have a barbecue for her later on. So it's going to just continue some uh, weekend fun. I am getting ready to head to my boxing class to get some good cardio in, and we are if in our keto, guys. I am intermittent fasting today, so I won't probably eat anything until the barbecue. I'm gonna have some coffee and get some salt and my electrolyte um, supplement, I'm sorry, and then we'll head to the, get this workout in. So we'll see you soon. Got done with boxing class another great class today burnt like 750 calories in like 45 minutes so um, we are getting ready to meet up with my sister and head to the grocery store to grab a few things for the barbecue and then set up for that um, burning a little bit behind so bear with me guys if I don't get a whole ton of footage today but I'm gonna try my best I'm still trying to push myself outside of that comfort zone as, as well it's weird because like when I'm with my girlfriend or I'm with friend or something it's like super easy for me to uh vlog without feeling self-conscious or feeling insecure or anything like that but then like when i'm by myself i get subconscious like oh what are these guys gonna think of me and i just need to stop uh, caring about what people think push outside of that comfort zone and i know this is making me happy i'm i'm doing what makes me happy and that's what really counts and hopefully it makes you guys happy to see the vlogging progress process but uh just wanted to share that with you you know because I'm sure some of you felt like that when you were first starting and maybe you have some tips for how to deal with it um, And that would be great. So I do always work out fasted guys, but it's kind of a difference between my fasted workouts and intermittent fasting I actually uh, Like when I intermittent fast I'm fasting for usually up to 24 hours anywhere from like 16 to 24 hours. I normally go at least 18 hours on my intermittent fasts and then when I go do fasted workouts it just means that I haven't eaten I woke up um, so my body is fasted but I'm not gonna be on a very long fast for that day usually if I'm not if it's not an IF day I usually go home after the workout and drink a bulletproof coffee which breaks my fast at that point which I think normally is only like 12 hours without any food but still guys do some research because studies are coming out to show that when before we couldn't prove how to isolate body fat around the belly region there are some studies coming out now and I will try to find them because I've seen them before I just have to go and find them again and then cite them in the description or however that works but there are studies that are now showing that when you do a fasted workout when you're in a pretty uh, deep fasted state it does target the belly fat region so um, the belly region so that's really exciting guys and I know 100% for myself that doing IF and doing fasted cardio has helped me tremendously has really shredded the pounds but not all, only has the scale gone down in weight you know my my molecular mole my muscular structure <laughs> sorry guys I'm killing that it's changed a lot you know I can definitely see when I go look at pictures um, I can see a difference in my shape and that's really exciting guys because that means uh, you know our body composition is changing and it just excites me because after all this weight I've lost I'm still seeing progress guys so it never stops it's just ongoing for I mean forever if you want it to be if you just want to keep on pushing to, uh, to get better and that's what I want to do I want to get better at life I want to get better at being a boyfriend I want to be, get better at um, work you know I want to get better at fitness everything guys I want to get better in life so I just uh, have to work hard at it for the rest of my life and if, that, if, this, if that's something that you want to do as well then you just have to really work hard and you will obtain it so remember guys don't be discouraged by the things you can't do but be encouraged by the things you can do I truly believe in that and we will see you guys soon I can't wait for the barbecue I'm excited so we'll see you on the next clip
guys have a change in plans today. I know we said we were going to go to the Art in the Park, but Lindsay woke up this morning not feeling very well, so we're not going to be able to do that. But we are going to go forward with the uh, barbecue, and I think my nieces are here, so I can hear them. They're getting all excited to see me. What's up, girls? Hi. Remember my niece, Audrey? Where's Daphne at? Guys, we finally found a Rith for Tall at a store, Natural Grocers. If you have trouble finding it and you're in a pinch, I get it off Amazon, but like sometimes I just need it right away and I can't find it anywhere. So I did finally find some of Rith for Tall at Natural Grocers. So if you guys need to find some, that's where it's at. All right. What's going on guys? Doing a little bit of meal prep here. We got some burgers going. I got some chicken and uh, chicken thighs marinated in a rub that I made with some, uh, it's kind of like a, a, a sugar rub, but I used it with the tongue instead of sugar. So it should come out pretty good and I'll keep you guys updated as we progress. Hey guys, I've been super busy cooking up a storm. I got the chicken legs going right now on this grill. You can see that. Oh, oh, careful, careful, it's hot over here. We got kids running around, it's crazy, but it's all good. It'll be fun. We got some chicken thighs. I made that rub earlier that you guys, that I showed you guys. We got some burgers prepped up, some turkey burgers. Gonna do some kielbasa and some hot dogs as well. Everybody's having a good time so far. And uh, sorry, it's been running around crazy, so I haven't had a lot of time to get some footage, but hopefully we'll have more footage up here in a little while. So we'll see you guys on the next clip. Finally got all this cooked. Hi. All the food is done. It's little Joe. <laughs> she wants to say hi. Uh, man, I've been working my tail off trying to get this thing done for my sister. But we did have an amazing spread of food that I'll hopefully get up for you guys tonight. And we'll see you on the next clip. Hey guys, everybody is fed, full. I know I'm stuffed. Made these freaking amazing jalapeno, uh, cream cheese stuffed jalapenos. They were so good. Chicken thighs were amazing. I made a barbecue sauce uh, from scratch because that way I could control what's in it. And I know there's not any sugar in it. I used erythritol instead. So everything was a success. Everything was going really good. Now I'm just going to do some cleaning up and uh, wrap up this night. So talk to you guys soon. Hey, what's happening, you guys? So it was a fantastic night. Cooked a ton of food. And the plus to that is that I don't have to meal prep tonight because I had so much food left over that I was just able to make meal prep from all the leftovers, which is great because normally, guys, every Sunday I meal prep and it usually takes me anywhere between, you know, two to three hours um, to cook everything. So I was very happy that I just got to throw a bunch of uh, the food, the leftover food that we had into some Tupperwares and so we're all good on that. I probably did go into a calorie surplus today. No big deal. We were at a good weight this morning but I did eat tons of the food that you saw me cook, drumsticks, chicken thighs, burger, um, kielbasa. Yeah, it had tons of food. And some of the cauliflower uh, mash that we made, it was like a spinach artichoke dip style, but with uh, cauliflower mash, or sorry, cauliflower, um, some green beans, um, and we made these stuffed jalapeno poppers. Well, sorry, stuff, stuffed jalapenos with mozzarella and cream cheese and a little bit of bacon. and because we had so much protein, you know, I tried to bring up my fats with Bulletproof Coffee and with those stuffed jalapenos. And we made some uh, chocolate chip fat bombs for the week. So I had also one of those. And so I'll try to get the macros up at the end of this video. Um, I'm gonna just type it in as close as I can because obviously it was all homemade. So I'll just have to guess the best that I can. But it was a great day, guys. Um, everybody had fun. My sister really enjoyed herself. And it's, it was her birth. Well, it's actually her birthday tomorrow, but we were celebrating it this weekend because we have jobs and obviously we can't celebrate it throughout the week. So everything was really great. Fun time with all of our friends and family. And I really hope you guys enjoyed coming along for the ride because I really love having you guys with me. Uh, I'm sorry I couldn't get more footage. I was just really busy running around trying to get everything done. I did get my house 
almost completely back to normal <laughs> after all the chaos, the kids and everything running around making a mess. <laughs> it happens. But I did get a new toy, guys. And if you can't see that right there, that's going to be my new baby. I'm going to try to make tons of keto-friendly fried foods with that. I want to make some keto uh, mozzarella sticks because my girlfriend really loves mozzarella sticks. And so I'll probably make a homemade marinara and fry up some mozzarella sticks, maybe some pork rinds or something. So hopefully we'll have some recipes to come. And you guys, just uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please hit that subscribe, hit the thumbs up, click the bell so that you get notified for all my future videos because I know you're going to love the content of this channel and we are just going to keep getting better. So life's too short, guys. Have a fantastic night.